Hello friends, I'm here with Lefide and want to share with you how to shower or wash the horse with partnership and with cooperation. Many times we just tend to just take the hose, tie the horse up in the washing place and then we just hose the horse down and he's not really liking it or together with us with it. So I'm out here, I have my water hose here and I'll make sure to use a watering head like this, a shower head and then I put it on, you see here, this has a shower function, so when I put the water on, it's a soft showering function like this. So we'll just get the scary bit out of the way, the psh, 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 like this, and we'll do it away from the horse so he can watch it and he can see it, and that's okay. I'll make myself ready and him ready for the shower. So what I do is I tend to look at what the horse is doing. So I'll just take it close to him first, see if, if he's concerned. He's not really concerned, so I'll just touch the feet. And if he's really afraid, he would try to escape the feet. But then he doesn't seem to really be afraid, so I'll just go up here and I'll just keep on having it on like this. And I can just guide the water around like this and doing here like this. And what is nicer for the horse is that it's not moving too much. So the more quiet and at one place it is, the actual more safe the horse feels. But if it's just moving around all this, it creates some sort of energy that the horse can start to respond to. And then I like to do this, I put it in. So I just go all the way into the, the coat to really get the water in between there so it's just not on top. And then we have up here, you see he's very dirty, he's been rolling. So we'll just go in here and kind of use the hose and the shower head to get him clean. Um, and if he feels like he needs to move a little bit like this, like he's a little concerned about the camera mostly, um, then I just allow it, allow him to move while still holding the water in the same place because I don't mind him being a little bit concerned about a camera because the camera is very unnatural, but I don't want him to be concerned about the water here. So we'll just go ahead and give him a quick wash all over where he's very dirty like this. So I'm giving him some room to move so he feels like it is safe to be here and he's not being trapped just because he's getting a shower. And you can see he's a little oh, tightening up there when it's down here. So I'll just take it away and just keep it there until I see him relax a bit more having it there. But I don't move it around quickly. I move it around slowly when he's a little bit concerned. So there he show, he showed me some relaxation. He kind of oh, stood in that place. And the last thing I want to show you that I do to basically with all my horses is to really help them understand kind of a kind of giving in to the, the uh, situation is that I, I put this up here on top and asking the horse to kind of deal with this very local rain shower. And you can see he's trying to avoid it. He's trying to do something <laughs> about it like there. And then I'm looking for a kind of surrender state where he gives in to the, the shower here, the, to the rain. And as long as he does things with his head and his mouth like that, like he's not surrendering. He's trying to do something about it to make it go away. So what I'm wanting here, so I'll just hold the rope a little bit. So what I'm wanting is I'm looking for more like this, a kind of a, okay, I accept it's raining right now, right here. And then I can take it up just to test it again. So I take it on top there and see, lowering the head and accepting it, not lowering the head to avoid it, but just lowering the head and I say, oh, okay, it's, it's raining here. We'll see. It's, he's still kind of avoiding it. He's kind of trying to fight it. So we'll just wait a little bit there. You see, he's kind of, okay, I'll take the rain. It's, uh, it's wet and it's very, very annoying, but he kind of accepts it. And it's a really good 
frame of mind to put the horse in to just accept the facts of life. The facts of life is that it is raining right now. It's nothing dangerous. It's not hurting him. It's not forcing him to do anything. It's just water. It's just raining. And that keeps him or it puts him in a, in a frame of mind of acceptance of the situation. And that builds confidence in horses that they can actually by themselves handle a problem by accepting the problem. Because the fact is, it's not dangerous. If it was been a, a dangerous thing, of course the horse shouldn't just accept it, but he's probably not gonna meet anything dangerous in his life. So it's better to have him learn to accept uh, facts of life like rain, like showering, like watering, and have him be relaxed about it instead of trying to avoid and uh, trying to fight it. So that was a little tip about washing your horse. It's not important to get him clean. <laughs> it's only important, important to us but it is important for him to feel confident and comfortable with the, with the sound of the water, the, the look of the water, and the feel of the water on the body. So we saw a little bit there on the side where, where he was tensing up and he just held it there. It was soft, it was kind of nice, and then he found the relaxation. And then the last here also, the acceptance of the situation of the water with the sound, with the feel and all that to just Oh, surrender to the situation and accept it as, okay, I can relax even though it's raining. Uh, and then we have a horse that understands showering and it will be easier for us. And if you then choose to do it on a really, really hot day, then he will actually be very glad to have a shower. He will be happy to get the cool down and get the sweat off and stuff. It's not about getting him clean. That's just us who wants that. The horse doesn't bother that. Like he will go out immediately and roll if we just turn him out there. So we're gonna ask him to stand and dry and have some patience there. So I really hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends if you have a friend who has a watering problem uh, or a showering problem and then subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, make a difference showering your horses.